fireman stops after a little boy waves to him with a note. In the quaint neighborhood where tree-lined streets and warm smiles were a daily guarantee, a unique sight had become an integral part of the community tapestry. Max, a sprightly young boy with raven black hair and bright blue eyes that sparkled with mischief, was that sight. His infectious enthusiasm was undeniable, and it manifested most vividly each day by the roadside. Around the same time every afternoon, just as the sun began its descent, casting a golden hue over everything, Max would position himself strategically on the curb. His eyes, full of anticipation, would search the distance for that one familiar vehicle. And when the fire truck finally made its appearance, his excitement would reach its zenith. With its arms flailing and his legs hoppingly energetically, He waved at the passing firefighters with a vigor that was nothing short of commendable. On the wooden porch of the slightly aging house behind Max sat his mother. She was a gentlewoman with soft features that spoke of kindness and resilience. Every day as Max carried out his ritual, she watched a myriad of emotions playing out on her face. There was undeniable pride. Her boy, with his unyielding spirit, was a testament to the strength of their family. But closely tied with that pride was a deep-seated pain, a scar on her heart that time had failed to heal. While Max's routine had piqued the interest of many neighbors, some of whom would even time their evening walks to coincide with the fire truck's passing, just to see the boy's animated display, only a handful knew the poignant story behind it. To an outsider, it was a delightful sight, a child's admiration for the heroes of the town. But for those privy to the tale, Max's daily salute was a heart-rending mix of remembrance, honor, and yearning. A few years ago, before the neighborhood had gotten used to Max's roadside ritual, his father had been one of those brave souls aboard that very fire truck. A firefighter with a reputation for being both fearless and compassionate, he had been well-respected in his profession and deeply loved by his family. With a booming laugh, strong arms that hoisted Max high up in the air, and a heart that seemed boundless in its capacity to love and protect, he was everything a son could look up to. Then came the day that would forever change the lives of the people in the community, especially Max and his mother. A massive blaze had erupted in a building downtown. The fire was ruthless, swallowing everything in its path. As the community watched in horror, Firefighters, including Max's father, charged headfirst into the inferno. In the midst of that chaos, with smoke blurring visions and despair hanging heavy in the air, Max's father did what he did best. He saved lives. One by one, he pulled people from the flames, his determination and bravery shining even brighter than the flames he battled. But then, the unthinkable happened. In a final act of unparalleled heroism, he dove back into the fire one last time, ensuring everyone was safe. But in doing so, he sacrificed his own chance at survival. The community mourned the loss of a hero, but for Max and his mother, the world had crumbled. It was a void that could never truly be filled. And so, as a tribute to the father he adored and the hero the town had lost, Max began his daily ritual. His enthusiastic waving was not just a child's play, it was a son's silent salute to his father's memory, a tangible connection to the past, and a poignant reminder of the depth of love and sacrifice. On a typical sunlit afternoon, the rhythmic pattern of children's laughter and the distant hum of nature was disrupted by the now familiar siren of the fire truck. As always, Max was stationed at his usual spot, eagerly awaiting its approach, but today, He was armed with something more than just his exuberant energy, a piece of paper clutched firmly in his small hand. As the red behemoth roared closer, Max raised his note high, hoping to catch the eye of the men and women he so admired. Among the crew was Alex, a tall, burly firefighter with a mane of sandy hair, streaked with ash from previous rescues. He was known for his sharp instincts and keen observational skills, both of which led his eyes to Max's outstretched note. Straining against the distance, Alex discerned the scrawled words, Your heroes like my late father. The simple heartfelt message pulled at his heartstrings. The juxtaposition of the word late with the innocent handwriting of a child was a stark reminder of the sacrifices made in their line of duty. 
In a job where they were more accustomed to rescuing others, it was rare and moving to be reached out to in such a manner. Acting on a sudden impulse, a need to understand the backstory, Alex signaled to the driver to halt. The massive vehicle screeched to a stop, its usual route momentarily paused by the intrigue of a little boy's note. Gently hopping off the truck, Alex approached Max, whose eyes were wide with a mixture of surprise and awe. Standing behind him, Max's mother looked apprehensively at the firefighter, her eyes reflecting years of memories associated with the uniform. Hey there, champ, Alex began, kneeling to meet Max eye to eye. That's quite the note you've got there. Can you tell me more about your father? Max, bubbling with a combination of nervousness and excitement, recounted tales of his father's heroics, often punctuated by his mother's softer, more emotional interjections. They painted a picture of a brave, kind-hearted man who once lived for his family and his duty. However, the atmosphere shifted palpably when Max's mother whispered her husband's name. A wave of shock and recognition washed over Alex, his face turning a shade paler. The name was not unfamiliar to him. It belonged to a man who had been celebrated and mourned in equal measure within the fire department, a legend whose tales of valor were often recounted to inspire and instill pride in the newer recruits. Alex remembered the day of that fateful fire, the harrowing screams, the relentless blaze, and the indomitable spirit of Max's father, who had saved many, including some of Alex's close friends. Alex had been on leave that day, and the guilt of not being there, combined with the gratitude toward the man who saved his comrades, had left a lasting impact. Swallowing the lump in his throat, Alex extended a hand, placing it reassuredly on Max's shoulder. Your father, he began, his voice wavering, was more than a hero. He was a beacon of hope for all of us. The encounter by the roadside that day wasn't just about a note or a child's tribute to his father. It was a testament to the legacy left behind by a brave firefighter and a reminder that heroism is immortal. It bridges the gap between the past and the present, connecting souls in a bond forged by sacrifice and respect. The name spoken by Max's mother was more than just a sequence of syllables for Alex. It was a portal to the past, transporting him to that ghastly day that was forever etched in his memory. As Alex stood next to Max, he was consumed by the vivid recollections of that catastrophic day. Thick black smoke had filled the skies, and the inferno raged like a wild beast, devouring everything in its path. The city's fire department had been stretched to its limits, with every available hand called into combat the ferocious blaze that threatened to consume an entire block. In the thick of the action, Alex remembered being pinned by falling debris. The weight, combined with the searing heat and choking smoke, left him disoriented and gasping for breath. With each passing moment, hope dwindled, and the grim realization that he might not make it out alive loomed large. It was then, amidst the crackling of burning wood and the cacophony of shouts and sirens, that a familiar voice pierced through the chaos. Max's father, a figure of strength and determination, emerged through the haze. Without hesitation, he hefted the debris off Alex, pulling him to safety with Herculean strength. Not stopping there, Max's father ventured back into the fire maw multiple times, extracting both civilians and firefighters, displaying unparalleled valor and resilience. What made Max's father's heroism even more commendable was his selflessness. In the line of duty, many rush to save innocent civilians, but it takes a special kind of heroism to save your comrades, the ones wearing the same uniform, fighting the same battle. He was indeed the unsung hero of the department, the guardian angel who watched over all. Now standing beside his hero's son, the weight of that memory bore down on Alex. Struggling to keep his emotions in check, he moved towards the fire truck and opened a storage compartment. From within, he retrieved a set of well-used safety gear, a helmet, a jacket and gloves, all bearing the scorch marks and battle scars from numerous confrontations with fire. This was the last remaining physical connection to Max's father, carefully preserved as a tribute to his memory. Holding out the gear to Max, Alex choked out, Your father saved more lives than we can count, including mine. This belonged to him. He would have wanted you to have it. 
the weight of the moment settling upon them all. Max, clutching the helmet close, tears streaming down his face, found himself wrapped in a tight embrace by his mother, her own tears soaking into his hair. The other firefighters, having witnessed the exchange, gathered around, each placing a comforting hand on the boy and his mother, forming a protective circle of solidarity and support. Word of this emotional exchange traveled quickly through the ranks. Max's father's legacy, combined with the young boy's daily tribute, resonated deeply within the fire department's fraternity. An unspoken consensus emerged, binding them all in a new tradition. Every firefighter who passed by Max's spot would wave, not just as a cursory greeting, but as a salute to the legacy of bravery and sacrifice that Max's father had left behind. They would slow down, ask about Max's day, and share their stories of his father, ensuring that the tale of that heroic day and the legacy of Max's father would continue to inspire. The bond between the department and Max grew stronger. Through their collective memory and shared rituals, they ensured that heroism, sacrifice, and love would never fade away, but would shine brightly, guiding future generations. Time, with its relentless march, transformed the landscape of the neighborhood, Buildings grew taller, roads were expanded, and old trees were replaced by younger saplings. Yet, one thing remained unchanged, the community's memory of a young boy named Max who once stood on the roadside, waving fervently at the passing fire trucks. As the years rolled on, Max grew from that eager child into a determined young man with a purpose that was evident to all who knew him. His ambition was not born out of the blue, but forged from the fires of his father's legacy. Every tale of his father's heroics, every salute from the firefighters who remembered, and every piece of gear that once belonged to his late father became the building blocks of his dream. The community often saw Max jogging around the neighborhood, building his stamina. He was frequently spotted assisting at the fire department, soaking up knowledge from the veterans, understanding the intricacies of the job, and learning the importance of teamwork. His dedication was palpable, and it became clear that Max wasn't just following a childhood whim. He was preparing to step into the enormous shoes his father had left behind. The rigorous training at the fire academy tested Max's physical strength and mental resilience. From understanding the behavior of different fires to making life-saving decisions under immense pressure, the challenges were endless. But Max, with the unwavering resolve that had been his hallmark since childhood, met each challenge head-on. His instructors often remarked that while his technical skills were commendable, it was his heart and dedication that truly set him apart. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity of training, evaluations, and countless drills, the day arrived when Max officially became a firefighter. The moment was made even more special when he was handed his father's badge, preserved and polished, waiting for the day it could be worn again. Pinning it to his uniform, Max felt an overwhelming connection to his father, a sense of coming full circle. On his first day on duty, as the fire truck roared to life, a wave of nostalgia hit Max. The streets that whizzed past were the same ones he had run on as a child, the same roads where he had waited every day, rain or shine, to wave at his heroes. And now, he was one of them. As the truck neared the familiar spot, Max's heart swelled with emotion. The tree he once stood under had grown taller, and in his place a group of children had gathered, their eyes wide with admiration. Slowing down, Max leaned out of the truck, waving with all the enthusiasm he could muster. In that moment, he wasn't just a firefighter on duty, he was a beacon of hope, an embodiment of dreams realized, and a testament to the spirit of the community. Every wave, every smile he shared was a promise to those children that dreams, no matter how big, can be achieved with determination and the right support. Max's journey from a young boy with a dream to a firefighter with a mission inspired the community. Through his dedication and resolve, he not only honored his father's memory, but also ignited the flames of ambition in a new generation, teaching them the values of hope, bravery, and unity.